hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to share with you all my recipe for a rum and raisin sucker bag so if you guys love rum and raisin ice cream this one is going to be right up your alley to make this we're going to start in a pot and i'm going in with one tin of evaporated milk next i'm going to go in with some whole whole milk or stay fresh milk and some sweetened condensed milk to taste put as much or as little as you like guys you can even omit it next goes in one tablespoon of custard powder I'm just gonna set that aside and bring over another pot and I'm going to go in with my raisins to the raisins I'm going to go in with some spiced rum and I like using this brand of spiced rum and this goes onto our stove we're going to bring this up to a simmer on a medium heat once the raisins are plump it's ready now I'm going to add some additional rum flavor with this rum extract and mix that in once properly mixed in you're going to use your blender or your immersion blender to blend this into a fine paste if you wanted it chunky of course you can leave it chunky but remember it will need to come through the bag so not too big once it's to a nice thin consistency, just set it aside. Put up your milk mixture onto your stove on a medium heat and go in with some cinnamon sticks. One piece of star anise. You don't want to put too much to overpower it. And some vanilla. Now we're going to mix this and bring it up to a simmer for about 10 minutes. We want to make sure that the custard powder is cooked. Next, go in with that pureed raisins. Now, give this a mix. That raisin is going to flavor this milk mixture. You're going to get a really original rum and raisin taste from this. So just mix that in and once it's properly mixed in, pour it into a container that can go into your refrigerator. I wish you guys can smell this. It smells just like Roman Raisin. Place in your refrigerator to chill. Once it's finished chilling, we're going to go ahead and empty it into our bags. Make sure and take out the cinnamon stick and the star anise before pouring it into your bag. It. make sure a little tip is when you're before pouring it into the bag you just want to mix it each time so that you get an equal amount of that raisin mixture in each bag you want to go ahead and tie the bag make a really nice tight knot and place it into a tray now I'm gonna continue filling the rest of bags until I fill them out. Now all you have to do is pop them in your pop them into your freezer until they're frozen and then they'll be ready to enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It was so delicious. Everyone loved it. Make it, leave me your comments. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. I hope you like, share and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.